everyone, I'm back again. Um, sorry about last time, I wasn't yet last time. But big thanks to everyone for leaving me all the nice comments again. And a warm welcome to everybody, all the new subscribers. Um, last time I, I didn't do the yap, I just put a video up I wasn't, you know, already done. So I thought I'd just stick that up. Because uh, we was very busy, we had a lot going on in the house the last time. And I didn't have much time to do it really. We had the, the old bathroom being done out and all that and workman was here and plus she had a lot of appointments that I had to go to every other day, couldn't doctors and after have a person to with her bad leg that she had. So I didn't have much time to do much really. Um anyway, got a few um, comments here. Alan Saxton, tractor, this is the tractor um, video we done. Good day Bob, no matter what vehicle you work on, I'm always fascinated by the fact you know where they come apart. This project turned out brilliant once again mate, very nice indeed. Well, thanks Anna. Yeah, I mean, what you got to do, I mean, it's pretty common sense how they come apart. I mean, I do often do a dummy run like to take them apart so I know where I'm going with it. I don't want to make myself look stupid die in front of you lot. I do that enough. Um, yeah, but they're pretty common sense how they come apart. You, Head around with them and you soon see how they come apart and go back together. Um, Paul B, this is on the tractor again. Uh, nice and simple, tremendous improvement. But did you notice? Yeah, I know I put the back wheels on the wrong way around. I know. <laughs> Kay Walker, um, well, the tires are on the wrong way. Yeah, I know. And I like quite a few comments about that on that video about the track, the tires being on the wrong way, but they're all right now. Take my word for it. Thanks for your, um, you know, observations. From you, Seeker. Oh, he's not on bad deal. Batmobiles. Um, is it even possible to buy an original '66 Corgi Batmobile with both figures unrestored? Well, back along, it must be what a year, a couple of years ago now. There was, there's a bloke he's still on there. He do come up with the occasional sale, and um, I think he it's over him or his father or somebody in his family worked for Corgi and they used to have like freebies I suppose and he actually had a big collection of totally unrestored Batmobiles and they were mint condition in boxes and all sorts and he was selling them on eBay but he, his name I think is Captain Scarlet and um, that's his eBay seller name so if you want to check that out keep an eye on it and he might come up with another one you never know but they, they go for selling money that's the only trouble. Um, John G, the police panda car I've done the Ford Escort. What was the white colour name? Well, just white. The white colour name. I mean, I just normally use ordinary gloss white. So that's all I ever use, really, for things like that, you know. Just Ford white or just ordinary white, really. White gloss would do. Any, any old white would do. I'm not fussy. Um, Dave Thomas, he's coming on the old James Bond videos. I've done quite a while ago now. He's got six silver and 15 gold now, still to do, he says. The gold ones I have done are indistinguishable from a couple of new ones he bought. I actually don't know which is which side by side, so I'm happy so far. Well, if you can do that good, um, Dave, then, um, well, you must be an expert. Like I said, I did comment on that. You must be a pretty good at them by now, if you can't tell the difference. Peter Walton, I think this is a guy who sent the van in. Um, hi Paul, thanks for restoring this van. I'm sorry the yellow paint fought you all the way. But what we saw at the end, your detailing is fantastic. Hope you and Mrs. Bob are keeping well. Oh, that's Peter. Thanks, Pete. Yeah, that, that bloody van, I must have sprayed that five times. And it, well, I just wouldn't have it. I kept getting these dots on it of reaction in the, in the cast, and I don't know what it was, but eventually I did manage to get it to, to stick without having such a crappy old finish on it. Um, Tony Dolan, finally, considering the trouble you had with the paint bomb, I'm glad you never threw it out your shed. It looks perfect to me. It might, might look alright now, but it didn't when I was doing it. I nearly felt like throwing it in, out the shed, don't you? Um, crap on Nick, um, somebody, few of you have been commenting on crap, crap on Nick. We haven't heard nothing from him for a while, but as you know, he's a dustbin man. He does his bin collections and all that, and he's probably been busy, I suspect. Don't worry about it, he'll be back. Um, but it has been six weeks, so come on Nick, get your video up. <laughs> but that's about it, I can't really say a lot more really. And 
and I'm, I don't want to keep this chat going too long because some of you get bored, I know, I, I deal with the common operator, but I'd like to give, give a little yap now and again, as you know, but this time I've got a mini milk, and it's, um, it was the army version, uh, not, not the um, prisoner one, it was the green army version, and um, what I've done, I've converted it to the one from the TV series, the taxi one, which was on the prisoner series. So, hope you like it. I had to buy quite a few parts for this one because it was really, it was just a bare sort of shell. Didn't even have the right wheels on it for the one I wanted to do. So, I managed to scrape a couple of they up, some part of another model on, you know. But, anyway, hope you enjoy it. Let's um, get on with it. See you again in maybe a couple of weeks. And then I think that'll be it then till after Christmas. But I'll try and get a Christmas video done in the meantime. But it'll be one more video after this one. And then it'll be the Christmas video, hopefully, if I can get something put together by then. And then it'll be like, I don't know, end of January, middle of January, by the time I get another video up after that. So until then, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay, right, let's hang on, I'll put my light on. Okay, as you can see, from what you saw on the turntable, I've now got all these repro pieces. So if I take off all these bits a minute, I've been trying them for size off camera before I start the video. This piece here, I mean, I've got to cut that little bit off there. you you got to tidy up some of these things. I mean, there, look, you've got like a little tab on there with that. I don't think that's meant to be there. That's just the um, molding bit. So that's got to come off. The tire's got to be painted. Look, you can see the tire. And there's the, the cover on it. It's just a false tire. All this here, I've, I've actually started cleaning this piece up a bit because that was pretty bad. Now, this is an awkward piece to have as a repro piece because this isn't bad. The actual the screen, that's proper metal. So, you know, that's pretty good. That's pretty good quality. So, the thing is, with this piece here, if I pull the steering wheel out, that's got to be painted black. That's a repro steering wheel, got to be painted black. Now, this is the piece I'm talking about. If I can get the bloody thing out, I think I'll push it in too far, to tell you the truth. Where's me, um, oh, there it is. So we'll get that out in a minute. Right. As you can see with this piece, this is what's meant to hold the bonnet. Now I've got to cut these two pieces off. But the bonnet, when it came, it had a rivet. So when they cast this, they cast the actual rivet as well. <laughs> But the trouble is that the hull won't go over that rivet, so I've got to try and grind the edges of that thing down. And what I've been using is me um, Dremel with um, this thing here. And I've been going around, around that bit, like that, trying to grind it down. I've done a bit of it, but it still needs to go a bit further because that there has got to fix over that like that, you see. It's got to be, it's got to be stuck on. And it, it ain't going to go over at the moment, see, because it's too, the rivet's too big. But I've, I've got to clean all these bits up, but that's got to be cut off, eh, little tags. And then that'll all be sprayed with the bonnet, you know, I'll, I'll just spray the whole thing, like, you know, when I've got that on there, I shan't worry about that, even it's white. But I'll spray the whole thing once I've fixed it on there, so that's got to be done. And um, the only other thing I've done different with this one, when Ian sent me it, it was just this shell and it had plastic whiz wheels on it and then um, what i've done i found an old set of um proper well it's actually it's corgi wheels but they're very similar to uh, one i've seen on online you know and it's got the proper metal wheels with the rubber tires i prefer them 
and that's all I've done is, is took the heat off someone else's lap and, and put they in there instead of the um, instead of the whiz wheels. I took the whiz wheels out and put these in. Can't get them out now. <laughs> but what we're going to do, we're going to strip this one. Well, if I can get them out. Anyway, the only other job is this roof. And then when I've got this roof, I thought it was already had the stripes on it, but <laughs> nothing's as easy as that, is it? I should have known better already. I'm going to have to try and make a template and do my own sticker for that. So all I'm going to do with that, if I get my tape, I'm going to get some of this blue tape. This is what Ian sent me as well, <laughs> ages ago. But it's not very sticky. So I'm going to try and get a piece of this and stick it over the top there so as I can um, make a template for the actual sticker. Because what I'll do is scan it, you see. So if I get tight to that line there, because that's where the sticker goes, it goes tight onto that line, like that. And it's got to go over there, so don't worry about the folds I've got here. I better keep it in shot. Don't worry about the folds I've got there because this is going to be an actual template. So I'm going to pull that over there. And then on this bit, you got the round bit. So I'm going to allow a bit for that. Cut that off straight there. Because I'm going to have to, to actually. Um, draw the round bit myself I think because I ain't got nothing on the computer to do that but that'll go there and then it's got to go around here and again you got these bloody angles I think I think the best bet is to go straight down there actually like that if I do it like that I can trim that other piece off and then if I just allow it a little bit, because once you've done your sticker, you can you can always trim it down anyway, you know. Right, so that's that piece. We've got to cut the window out, of course. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that and cut it out when the actual sticker has been made. All I want is this completely covered. I don't need that bit. I want to make the other side up a bit. Just do it like that. Again, don't worry about your folds because that is all going to be gone when the sticker is printed. Because this is the actual line we need for that, for that sticker. Because I'm going to put this onto a piece of card and scan it because that would be the actual size of the roof. It's got to go down to there, so we need that piece. Stick it around there. Don't worry about these folds. I keep saying that, don't I? <laughs> and then you just trim that off as well. Like that. But right, now, all bar this bit, bit here I've got to do, which I will do with my scalpel. Get the line. I'm going to try and push it in to give you a line. So you can see the lines there, see? See the lines? And that's where we've got to, um, got to cut that piece out. So I'll get my scalpel. Nothing's, nothing's prepared again as usual. I've never got anything handy, two hand. So I want to get this decal done because then I know I've got all my bits. And there's, there's, there's one that goes on the bonnet also. There's another one that goes on the old bonnet. A little round one that goes on there. And I've got to also put 
put one on there. So, <clears throat> right, what we do is you just come along that. And the other one. Watching you don't bloody cut your fingers or cut the plastic. See, I can trim this little bit afterwards. Right, and peel that up. And what I'm going to do now, if it doesn't come off properly, I'm going to have to... I need two pad, actually. Could try a load a bit there, look, because I've gone a bit wonky. Bloody scissors. to cut this one with the scissors because it's plain silly buggers here folks. So just cut it on it like that. That one. And we get the old right now hopefully That should be the actual size what we need to, to print with all the stripes on it of course because when I put this on the computer when that goes on the computer like I'm gonna put it on a piece of card like I said flat down and then when that comes up on my screen I'm gonna transfer some stripes over onto that and then that will um, give us all our size here like see but that'll give us, give us our template for our, our um, roof. And then as I said, the, the window bit, once you stuck the sticker on this, you can cut the window bit out afterwards. So that should sort that out. So that's that one done. Right, now, if I get these out, if I can get the bloody things out, they don't want to come out now. Need the big pliers for this. There we go, that's that one out. This is all going to be stripped, of course. Not much to it, really. Strip all this one. That's got to be resprayed. So this is pretty an easy one to do, really. It's just all these stupid little bits I've got to like, because it, it was like you see, it was the army one, but you know, <clears throat> it's the same casting as as the um, prisoner one. They're all the same size. So I decided to do it as the prisoner. I'll just strip it, bring it back, and then we'll see how far we're getting. Okay, guys, what I've done, I've actually made a paper template. I've got to cut around them bits there, but I ain't bored about that at the moment. I just want it for the fitting, and I made it out of paper and printed it on the printer. I've still got it in there on the printer. All I've done is just printed it on a bit of paper at the moment just to make sure I've actually got the right size and it looks pretty close on here now so once I've sort of done this on sticker paper I shall stick it on here and then trim it up well obviously I'll trim that piece first you know where the old one if you see where the, the lines are there I've got to trim that up because so, that hangs over the front and then I've got to cut the window out but I'll do that once the actual because I've got the window bit back showing that I can cut that out when the sticker's on, on the actual canopy. So that'll be our, um, what should we call it, our canopy. And also, I've done the other decals, I've got them sizes sorted out as well. Also, I've um, stuck this um, plastic piece on here now, and I've given this a coat of paint. I, I did undercoat it first, but I've given it a coat of um, the white. So that's all one piece now, so that'll run. That'll put in, you know, go in nice now. Into the um, waller. There you go, slots in like that. 
but that's got to be lacquered of course. Now I've got to clean this up now, this has got to be brushed up. Bit of an awkward old model this one for um, cleaning, because there's so many little nooks and crannies in it and what have you. But we'll get there. Yeah, see it's coming out, just got to keep on at it. It will come out there, give the front a nice clean. Look at that, that. Nice and shiny. Okay, I've got the um, the sticker done now. So we're going to try and um, fit this now onto here. I just hope it's sticky enough. If not, I might have to put some tape or something on it. You know, the old double-sided stuff. Alright, so we'll get the old sticker off. I don't feel that sticky actually. I'm hoping it's going to be alright. Pull back so far. <clears throat> right, we'll start with this bit here. And just place it best we can. Not too bad. Pull the rest off. Now we need this. If it's got a couple of little ridges, so. We've got to um, push it into them little ridges in there because there's a little ridge in there. It's got to go round. And also, we've got to cut this window out. Right, so. Just tack it there. And if I hold that bit, use your nail and just go. There's a little, little ridge there, you see. And you want to completely cover that. Otherwise, you're going to have an air bubble underneath that. And then we bend it around like that. I've got them. I think I've got these two low, really. I don't know. I don't know how low they're meant to drop down, but oh well. It's too late now, I've done it. It's only an old made effort, you know. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to put something underneath this to keep that stuck there because I can't see that staying there for, for ages. Might have to put a little bit of super glue underneath that to help that stay there. It might stay there, it might not. But there you go, that's how you how you get that on. And you've got your ridge there, let's see. So now I've got to, all I've got to do now is cut that window out. And for that, I'm going to go down on the old thing. I don't know if I... I ain't got my light on again, folks. There we go. So I'm going to just score this as best I can. Sorry if my hand's in the way, but... Can't really do a lot about that. Trying to do it as best I can to show you. But, if you can't see it, well... You'll have to see it when it's done. Hopefully that's done it. too bad. He's he's done okay, he's come out alright. Pull that away, done that. And then all we gotta do is push them pieces down. Like I say I might have to <clears throat> put a bit of super glue on these because just to um, keep it there. On these little edges here, like underneath there, you know, is it might not stay there very good because it, it is only sticky paper or like stickers. So if it does come away in the future, I will 
be dealing with that situation and putting some super glue on it but there you go we've got a little window in the back and we got the old thing done like I say I think these is a bit too far a bit too long actually I'm not sure where long they're meant to be actually that there should lose its stickiness after a while anyway so I am too bothered about leaving that I'll bend it around a bit slightly that might help keep it there but that ain't bad it's better than buying the bloody things I mean when you think about it it's only a sticker what they're selling you and this here I just typed in on Google red and white stripes and well as soon as you can get a template made of how big you want it you just paste it over on, on the computer and then do it yourself you know just needs a bit of patience a lot of piddling around but there you go so that's that done I painted up I painted up that um, thing the uh, windscreen piece that's all um, ready to go in when the, when it's dried up it's got to be uh, lacquered but that's about it I'm just waiting for decals to dry now and I've got to put decals on there I should do that off camera you'll, you'll see what decal I put on it's supposed to be the um, the sort of um, logo of the, the the tandem not tandem what's on about the penny foreign uh, logo I'm hoping I've done it the right you know sort of good size to, to put on there but I shall put that on off camera anyway and then bring that back when it's all varnished up so that's that piece done all I've got to do is polish these wheels up I've done that one as you can see I'll just cut a bit of stripey but out near enough the right size and then trimmed it around on the while it's on the wheel I've got to paint that wheel as well look and I noticed there was an aerial on this version as well this one didn't have a hole for the aerial so I've actually drilled a little hole through there on the front if you can see there I drilled a little hole and I put an aerial in I, I made an aerial and um, put that in there it's been glued underneath that as you can see five second fixed glue and I've sprayed that because that's got to be white the same as the actual body of the um, car so now I'm going to whiz off and spray this one up and then um, bring it back to you and then all I've got to do after that is put the detail in, in the air and that's about it really just put it back together and we'll, we'll see what it's like okay chaps right as you can see this is now all been sprayed up as I said, I, what I've done, I forgot there's an aerial in this one. I, like I said, I drilled a hole in there for this one. Did I say that before? I can't remember. Yeah, I did. So I've sprayed it all over with the aerial in it. I had to take this out and spray this separately because I'd done the bonnet separately. And to keep that in, you've got to put that in first and then you put that in and what a silly bugger I am I glued this in to spray it up and then I realised that that's got to go in first so I pulled it out again quick so it, it doesn't matter about that there there's a bit there's a bit of um, paint missing on that piece there like, but that ain't going to be seen once it's pushed into the actual model when you put it together so that's all been done I've also painted the spare tyre that pushes on the back it's only a false it's a false spare tyre really that that will push on the back there and that will look like it's a real one the steering wheel's all done no problems with that general spray over and there's the old decal it's not the original dinky style decal it's an actual um, proper prisoner um, one it's been lacquered over a couple of times but I can't get that line to go but you know they're never perfect anyway but that's not too bad that's going to still protect it because it has been lacquered over so as you can see in the shine there look 
but there is a very fine line over the top of it but that's all glued together look it's all perfectly fitting I've tried it on the on there and it fits perfectly it's nice and flush with the front all I've got to do now is these wheels got to go on but before I do that I've got to actually paint some some brown on there but I'm gonna have to leave this for a while to, to mask it up you won't have to wait for that because when I bring it back to put it together all that will be painted I'm not going to bother showing you that all it is it's going to, I'm going to hand paint it with um, Humro but I'm going to mask along there with some tape because I, I haven't got the straightest of um, hands to do this so I'm going to just put a bit of masking tape along there a bit of Tamiya and then paint these here side pieces brown like they're meant to be then that will be finished I won't be able to lacquer it after that because, as you know, enamel don't act well with um, the old um, acrylic paints. These has been polished up, so all I've got to do, they've got to be peened over again. I'll do that on the old drill over there, over that way. And um, I should get them put on and peen them over. Then we're virtually ready to put this thing back together properly then, once, it, once the wheels is on. There's the roof. I can give you a fair idea of what it might look like. There's there's the roof lot. If I put the old bonnet on, I'll just give you a little quick peek of what it what it's going to look like. When I got E pushed in, that that goes really nice and flush. And there you go. Look, it's, it's it's gradually taking shape. And I've, I've even got, <laughs> I've even got Rover, the bloody, um, the Rover, that's what they call it, isn't it, Rover, that stupid ball thing that floats out of the water, oh, the paint's not dry, and you know what that was, <laughs> that's out of a beer can, it's a widget, <laughs> there you go, oh, he's, he's going now, that Rover. Right then, let's get these wheels um, put on. Shut the old drill up. And all I'm using here is a couple of um, nail punches. And um, it's ideal for peening over the ends of these axles. I still end up hammering some of them because some of them are pretty hard, but this will do the majority of it i think we i think the bottom bit's a bit loose i better tighten that up that's why it's making that funny noise it's not me <laughs> tightening up a bit tighter should be right there now yeah that's better right let's get back to it this is a bit i hate because it's all freshly painted and one slip and that's it you've got to start all over again but you just you gotta persevere. Mustn't be afraid of it. It's not looking too bad actually. I think that would do. Yeah. Right, as you saw from the last um clip I'd done the old wheels, got them um, peened on and all that was was a drill with a with the old um oh, what do they call them, nail punches either end that's all that is now this here has got to be on this prisoner effort this has got to be brown because i suppose it's meant to be like a wood effect i suppose so what i've done i'm going to hand paint this i put some tamiya tape very carefully so i can get a nice straight edge along here because knowing me with my like that i'm going to balls it right up so I'm going to do this off camera now. I've, I've just showed you what I've done. I'll put the tape on like that, just to leave the white, you know, bits of the tops of that mud guard. And I can, I've got to paint the side bits as well, but I can manage them without the tape. It's just these long straight lines that I ain't going to be able to do that sort of perfectly. So that's why I've got the old tape on it. So once I've got that on, I shall bring it back. And you, I've stuck a wheel on the back there, as you can see. I shall bring it back and then um, we'll have a look at it. Okay, everyone. Not too bad, I suppose. I'm not really happy with it, but 
you know, it's the best. It's the best I can do, anyway. It's it's not a real prisoner, Moki, but it's a pretty good copy, I suppose. But you know, I don't know any other way of doing that with, without the tape. But it ain't too bad. I've tried to make it look like a wood effect. Perhaps when all the other bits is on, it might look a bit better. But I've also painted up the engine, as you can see. The old little engine and I've done the front I've done the headlights and the um, you know the grill put the taxi on the front done the back lights as well while I was at it so um, really now it's just a case of um, putting this back together again I suppose and then all we got to do with that I've, I've actually this one I noticed on a picture of this that there is a bit of glass in there so what I've done, I've got a piece of old cake. Because you only want a thin bit, a bit of that. And I've used five second fix. And I've just, all I've done, if you if you look, I've just glued it on there like that. Because you ain't going to see the inside like that anyway. And that'll go on. Like so. Right, let's get the old muck off there. I've got my bloody dirty great fingerprints over it now. That's going to have to be cleaned off again now. I'm a messy toad. I'm not putting it in dirty, is it? There. That's better. Still a bit mucky, but I'll deal with that in a minute. Right. So, to start with, this piece got to go in here. Because that piece i better put it on camera, and I? <laughs> right. To start with, to put it back together, this piece has got to go in there because that screen holds this bonnet in. So we'll locate that. Get the little screen out of the way. It's got to go in. There's a little pin in there. So if I try to push that down, it's not too bad actually. I think that's about it. I don't think that goes in much further than that. Then we put our steering wheel into there. It's such a fiddly little bloody job this to get get it to go through the other. Perhaps it goes in. push it too far, that's far enough. I don't think it goes in tremendously far like that. Right, then we got a screen. The screen pushes down. Oh, that was pretty easy. I thought that was going to be a bugger of the day. And then that pokes, pokes down like that, as you see. And that holds all the bonnet, all this in. Now this is a bit that's going to be a pain in the bum because these tabs are going to all go in. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to cut that a bit shorter because it ain't it ain't working. Once you get the back one, there's a little ridge. The back bit goes in. I'm going to have to come back with this, folks. All it does, it slips in the back there and you've got to put it down in the nails. So I'm going to have to come back because I can't do it under camera. It's going to be a lot easier on my knee. Right, then, guys, I managed to push it in. What I had to do is bend that bloody screen back that way because it would not have it to be. It would not go. But now, the only problem is now 
this is a bit too long really so I'm going to have to cut that down before we look at finally on the turntable because I mean matey in there won't be able to see out will he <laughs> but there you go That's, all these posters all fit in now I have put a bit of 5 second fix underneath these two to hold this down because it it's very flop, floppy and it will pop out again because it's new so it's new plastic so I have pinned that in there actually the rest is all just pushed in same with the top there that's just pushed over but let's have, let's have a look on the old turntable and see what we got okay guys as always we always go back and see what we started with so well this is it really <laughs> it's just you know the actual shell really the wheels are not the ones that came with it they were actually plastic whiz wheels which I took off I didn't like them and I thought I'd try and transport this one back and make it you know back to the old prisoner taxi cab from the TV series and that one's got the metal wheels the spun ups and um, well needed a lot of parts as you can see because it, it's just a shell <laughs> nothing with it no bonnet no bloody canopy no spare tires on the back nothing with it at all so anyway after a bit of um, parts getting and a bit of um, spray painting this is what we ended up with and what a difference look at that entirely different altogether what a transformation there's a there's a, the, the widget rover the widget is it in the TV series remember that big rubber ball that used to chase after whoever was trying to get away we've um, put the new canopy on all printed a new canopy off on sticker paper painted in the wood sort of effect and put the transfers on the taxi and the front number plate and all that new tires made an aerial for it and drilled an O in the front for an aerial because it was the army version as you know put a decal on the front tidied all the bonnet parts up well I think it's come out right myself and um, what do you think let me know in the comments but if you enjoyed this video and like to see some more Please subscribe, like, share, and um, I'll be back again very soon with another one. So until then, it's bye-bye from me. Bye-bye.